is even more than it is. You had something to say. I would like to ask the mom, do you feel that this relationship is going to lead to a possible marriage, or is this a temporary thing? Jeremy has asked me to marry him more than once, and I have told him no. Because sooner or later, there's going to come a time in our life that he's going to go on, because I am going to be too old for him. You know, there's always that thing that people say that when you, when you date a younger guy, that you, you have something else to say? That when you, wait, 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 wait. This You're is the first time in my your life that I have, your son I have been for a happy with a man. Situation. Wait, 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 what, 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 what did you just say? This is the first time in my life I have been happy with a man that I have been able to talk to and who has been, no, I have a boy at home. Wait, 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 y'all. <laughs> Stand up. Um, after all this is said and done, everybody's emotions are damaged. Will you feel good about making this decision, staying with him? Yes. Okay. You I heard it? Come on. I wanted to know, um, excuse me. I wanted to know, what about when it's over? Do you think you and your son will have the same relationship y'all had before? Which... We will never have the same relationship again. What about um, him and his friend, Jeff and him? I don't think, you guys going to be ever friends again, you think? No. Nope. Yeah, no. So you're talking about all these relationships that are broken up. But I think... Look, yeah, I think the biggest, the biggest problem that her kids had with Jeremy is because of his temper. Jeremy, you don't see his good side a lot. Kate sees his good side a lot. We very seldom get to see his good side. But <laughs> How bad does it get? When, he lived, when they lived with us, he broke, he would get really mad. He broke a bunch of windows and uh, he would he called me more than enough names. Yeah. Wait a minute. I want you to meet Liz's 17 year old daughter Chrissy. Now she says she's fine with her mom's relationship, but she's not so cool with Aunt Kay's involvement with Jeremy. Now, wait a minute. The plot's going to thicken, folks. <laughs> you see, Chrissy had this fling with Jeremy while Jeremy was dating Aunt Kay. <laughs> Now, what was that about? I can tell you, honestly, it wasn't about anything. Wait, let Chrissy d describe what happened. Chrissy? It wasn't about anything at all. No, it's like, it was a stupid decision to go out with you in the first place. I was drunk, and you were drunk. Yeah, she, she wasn't drunk, but... And what happened, Jeremy? We just had one out for the night, and... And we were out drinking and things just happened. And, I mean, things, it was and just, that's it. I mean, she's, she's attractive, you know, but I mean, it wasn't like, you know. So we you went guys went to bed together? Yeah. <laughs> and so, Kay, did you know about this? Yes, I did. And you're, and what did you, how did you find out about that? I knew about it the night it happened. And then Jeremy came to me and told me. But see, that's what I'm talking about, Jeremy not having respect. Because if he, he has no boundaries. He, because if he had boundaries, number one, he wouldn't have slept with his best friend's mother. Yeah, and he lived in my, when he lived in my house. He slept with your daughter. Yeah, and plus he was so disrespectful to her, he called her names that I can't even say. This question is for Chrissy. You agree with your mother's relationship, but you do not agree with the relationship with Jeremy because you went out with him is because you do not like him. What is the problem? I hate his guts. I hate him. Yeah. And talking about boundaries, but first, I, don't see, I think I don't see I any think of both them having need boundaries. To grow up. You don't see anybody having no. boundaries. Talk Not at all. Up. And knowing and the mother, knowing that she had a a fling with the. the I want to know, Kate. Hey, wait a minute. I I y'all. I gotta ask this question. You come up. <laughs> <laughs> I just you find out that the that your boyfriend has gone to bed with your sister's little girl. My niece. Your niece. What in the world did you do? I mean, why? I was naturally hurt. It was, um... Seems like more, some windows would have been broken that night. <laughs> Knowing me the way I do, I was surprised I handled it as calmly as I did. Uh, Christina and I, after I calmed down, we talked. And because, I mean, I'm not an angel. I mean, and things happen. <laughs> but and he, I think uh, when they 
Another problem that the kids had with Kate and Jeremy's relationship was when they first got together, all they did was have sex. I mean, all the time. But that's not and unusual in a, in a new relationship. Come on. But you know, Christy, speak for yourself. He's the one that called me. He is but Christy, you me. went to bed with him. You're responsible he, he for this, too. He told me he was right. apologizing for everything that he said to me, blah, blah, blah. I thought maybe, you know, that we could... But what do you say to your aunt whose man you took? I didn't take her I man. think Chrissy... I don't want her I, man. I think the main reason own. why Chrissy did that was because when Kate and Jeremy lived with us, Kate and Chrissy didn't get along at all. They mm -hmm. fought all the time. And I think it was a, almost a passive, Vindictive aggressive... Kind of thing. Not, Not intentionally, I think because of Chrissy's age, you know, that was an immature thing to do. But mm -hmm. also, Jeremy said to Adam once that... The what did he say something about? If you want a piece of ass, you gotta stick to it. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> we'll be back in a minute. <laughs>